Congrats to the art of gift wrapping. You're not the only one. Elisa Becerra joins us live at the Paper Garden in Sacramento with some expert tips. Okay, so first I'm going to show you some of the beautiful things that Stephanie has here. And by the way, Stephanie spent eight years at KOVR, so she's been in the hi, building. Stephanie. She says hi to Tina. Cool. Tina. She says hi. Hey, Tina. Okay, so she has some beautiful wrapped packages here, and they look like they're so difficult to do. This is one of my favorites if you're doing like a little gift bag. That's just ribbon, and then they put the little booties on the bottom, which I think is just really stunning. But wrapping can be very daunting for people, and she already showed me several tips <clears throat> that just make your package go from, yeah, someone at home wrapped that, to, ooh, someone wrapped that, who knows what they're doing. So first thing, you're showing us here, Stephanie, um, you pre-cut the paper. I already did mine to show, but how do you put this together? So basically, I just put a piece of tape here, and it makes it nice and finished if you could just pull it across. Mm -hmm. Put a piece of tape on first, and then you just grab the ends. And I think that the best way to make your packages look finished is by creasing the edges of your box. So it kind of gives it that that ironed look. Cause see, I I pre-did mine, and before that it was puffy. You know the kind when you finish at the end and it looks kind of weird and it's puffy, and you just put tape on it anyway. But look how she's done this. Yeah, yeah just by just by creasing the edges it makes it look really nice and you can see the box right here this is just plain white paper and by just putting some really nice ribbon and instead of putting a gift tag on I put their initials on which really makes it custom and it's really important too we were talking about this earlier to get the really nice ribbon it makes all the difference yes and I really like um, Ribbon that's not wired. Right. Uh, it kind of no wire ribbon. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I can't help myself. But again, yeah. you can reuse this ribbon. Oh yes, yeah. definitely. I would save it all. Right, and yeah. we and rework it for something. Exactly. Okay, and then she showed me this neat little tool here, this tape thing. Okay, this is double okay. adhesive, and you just roll it across, and you can decorate yeah, your there. boxes by just adding a little bit of a nice bling touch. Okay. You don't need any ribbon with this. Okay, and let's do the snowman real quick because we have a couple minutes left. So what she did is she got this butcher paper, really pretty striped ribbon, tied a little bow. That's going to be his scarf, and then you're yes. going to put his yeah. face on. Yeah, you go ahead and put his face together. Okay, here, you hold the mic. Okay. Okay, Okay. So I, I double stuck tape it for you. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. So that's so his nose, this is obviously. His nose, so corn. I'm going to put it like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, then okay. what? These are his eyes? Uh, those are the buttons, so go ahead. And little button. Hey, there you but go. Good. Even, even Elisa can do this. You can do okay. it. You're doing great. Okay, I guess this okay. is his mouth. Yes. Okay, he's a little happy. Maybe I'll make yes. it crooked happy. And okay. Then two eyes. And there. you're done. Bam. Yes. What? Okay. <laughs> and who wouldn't who wouldn't love that? Okay. So thank you so much for you're giving welcome. us some really nice um, ideas and very I mean so simple but it looks so polished, lovely. And there's life after news. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, Elisa. <laughs> All right, back to you guys. I'm so happy to see her success there. Yeah, Paper Garden used to be a town and country, but now she's over at Pavilion. Yeah, she's